Wednesday, January 10th, 2024, Daily Bread. Title, God So Loved the World. John chapter 3, verses 16 through 21. Key verse 16. For God so loved the world that he gave his one and only Son, that whoever believes in him shall not perish but have eternal life. For God so loved the world that he gave his one and only Son, that whoever believes in him shall not perish but have eternal life. For God did not send his Son into the world to condemn the world, but to save the world through him. Whoever believes in him is not condemned, but whoever does not believe stands condemned already because they have not believed in the name of God's one and only Son. This is the verdict. Light has come into the world, but people love darkness instead of light because their deeds were evil. Everyone who does evil hates the light and will not come into the light for fear that their deeds will be exposed. But whoever lives by the truth comes into the light so that it may be seen plainly that what they have done has been done in the sight of God. Daily Bread First, God so loved the world that he gave. Throughout the Bible, we read about people who rejected God They lived for themselves, worshipped idols, and strayed far away from Him. That's our story too. We lived in the world, following our desires and turning our backs on God. But out of His great love for us, God still had this beautiful plan to redeem the whole world by giving His Son, Jesus, to die in our place for our sins. Romans 5.8 says, But God demonstrates His own love for us in this. While we were still sinners, Christ died for us. We've experienced love from our friends and family, but nothing will ever compare to God's love. Even when we were enemies, rejecting and rebelling against Him, Jesus still loved us and gave His life for us. John 3.16 is one of the most famous Bible verses, but it's more than words on a page. It should be at the core of our heart Because it's the reason why we can have a relationship with God and live a new life in Him. Let's renew our thankful hearts and love for Jesus through this passage. Second, whoever believes in Him is not condemned. When Jesus was on the cross, He carried all our past, present, and future sins. So when we accept Jesus as our Savior and Lord, We stand forgiven and free in front of God. Do you live with this kind of confidence in your daily life? Sometimes when we remember our mistakes and failures, we condemn ourselves. We feel guilty. It's like a heavy burden in our hearts. But God never meant for us to live with that burden. In fact, the very reason He sent Jesus was not to condemn us, but to save us. Condemnation is not from God. Salvation is. Instead of focusing on ourselves, our guilt and shame, we can look up at Jesus who paid the price for it all. When we hold what Jesus has done for us in our hearts, it kicks out all of the condemnation and guilty sense. Prayer Lord, help me treasure your sacrifice on the cross, because it's the reason I stand free and forgiven. When I'm tempted to condemn myself, Help me remember that Jesus paid for it all. One word, Jesus gave his life for me.